and welcome to Gamescom 2015. I'm Dan Ma, reporting for NVIDIA from the heart of the Curl Mesa. Behind me is the NVIDIA Green Room, where we'll be chatting to the talent behind some of the year's most anticipated games and hardware. Over the next four days, we'll bring you highlights from the show, including the latest on the likes of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Mirror's Edge Catalyst and Rainbow Six Siege, and an in-depth look at bleeding edge virtual reality technology. First up though, we spoke to NVIDIA's own Matt Rosiniak to find out how NVIDIA Gameworks is benefiting a new generation of blockbusters. NVIDIA Gameworks is a set of technologies that we're working on and an entire platform to make the real-time rendering and simulation of video games today a lot more visceral, uh, a lot more beautiful, and a lot more realistic. Generally, we have discussions with developers very early in the production stage of a game, and we try and understand what they're trying to achieve. Um, and we have a lot of research and development that goes on internally, and sometimes those things just match up perfectly. So there might be, they want, want to do a really nice technology around wave rendering, and all of a sudden we have that, or we have it in R&D. So it's, it's always what fits the game best, and generally when two people get excited about it, like we know we've got a winner. So in The Witcher 3, we had a few pieces of technology. Probably the most prominent one was Hairworks, and with Hairworks you can see that we have hair for Geralt, the main character, and lots of the monsters in the game, and fur for animals. Um, we also use HBAO+, which is a nice technology for ambient occlusion, so it makes the geometry a little deeper and gives us a lot more uh, definition with the shadows. And then the underlying physics engine also was PhysX, which means that the developer has access to our clothing and destruction technology. Specifically with Hairworks and The Witcher 3, the conversation started very early in the life of the technology. And because we worked very closely with the artists and the creative director of the game, they had a lot of requirements that we didn't have in the technology because not every game has griffins or bears or wolves or Geralt. Uh, so what happens is all of the work that we do, we do it in a general sense. So we want to add clumpiness to the hair or we want to make the hair a lot stiffer in certain areas, different from the root to the tip. That goes into the general Gameworks library and then every other developer that gets it gets all of those features as a result. Right now, one of the hot technologies that we've got working on is Flex, which is a unified physics solver. Now, what that means is that, generally speaking, in the world, you might have a, a big box and you can shoot that box. But that box then won't float or the pieces of the box won't float later. Flex means that the whole world simulates in one big simulation. So I could have a balloon filled with milk and inside that milk is a rubber bunny and there's a cereal bowl and the rubber bunny falls into the cereal bowl, the milk splashes everywhere and it all affects itself. Uh, another big one is VXGI, which is our real-time global illumination. Uh, what that means is that normally lighting is very difficult to calculate in real time and because of the advances that we have in the processing power of the GPU, we're able to start to calculate how light bounces. So if I have a red ball in a white wall and I shine a flashlight on the red ball, I should see some red light on that wall and all of that adds together. Uh, generally developers do this, they bake it so to speak and they do it before the game launches. We're going to enable them to do it in real time giving these really dynamic environments. Um, I can't speak too much about all the specific titles we have, but we do integrate all of our technologies into modern engines. So Unreal Engine 4 has an integration with all of our Gameworks technology, and that's freely available to developers to download and play with. Now, one of the many publishers who've worked closely with NVIDIA over the years is Ubisoft, who, as ever, is here at Gamescom in a big way. The latest Ubi game to benefit from this continuing partnership is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, which gamers are getting hands-on time with right here at NVIDIA's booth. Here's Ubisoft's Scott Mitchell with the latest on this tactical spectacular. I think Rainbow Six Siege is going to be set apart from the other shooters in the genre because it's definitely uh, very tight, intense. Everything is close quarters combat. Most shooters happen in large outdoor arenas where we're exclusively indoors. Uh, we also have the procedural destruction, which means that the maps are forever changing. It's very dynamic. Uh, the map that you start with will never be the same map that you finish with. As well, we've got the concept of one life, which means that there's no regen, there's no respawn. So 
once you're out, you're out. Uh, depending on which uh, operators you choose to play with or who you're playing against, it means that you're working with or against different gadgets that are going to affect the environment a little bit differently. Again, everything blows up. Anything that's not part of the supporting structure inside these buildings can be blown away with precision. We've really been able to achieve this level of realism thanks to all the new hardware. Uh, it's really given us an advantage as to opposed to what we had before. Specifically with the destruction and the super intelligent AI, we need that kind of power. And that's all we've got from the show floor today, but we've got loads more coming to you over the rest of the week. In the meantime, be sure to visit geforce.co.uk for even more Gamescom coverage. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow.